Joining me now in an exclusive interview is Republican Congressman John Ratcliffe from Texas. He sits on the House Judiciary Intelligence and Homeland Security Committees. He is also a former federal prosecutor. And Congressman, it is always a pleasure to see you. Good morning, Maria. Thank you so much for joining us. First, your reaction to the president uh, just there on the Mueller report. Well, I remember when, uh, after the election, Donald Trump said, uh, let's turn the page, let's move on from Hillary Clinton. Unfortunately for the president, uh, Hillary and the Democrats were not nearly so gracious. They weren't ready to turn the page or move on from his election. In fact, they were already working to undermine him. Uh, Hillary and the Democrats, unbeknownst to the president, had already funded the fake uh, phony dossier that they then peddled through the intelligence community of the Obama administration, Clapper and Brennan, to Comey and Lynch at the Department of Justice and the FBI, who falsely verified it. Um, all of which wasn't true. And so when the president expresses concern about the Mueller investigation, given the fact that some of those same people started that process, he has every right to wonder whether or not he's going to be treated fairly. Having said that, without having seen a single word of the Mueller report, the one takeaway that we already have we know is positive for the president. There are no indictments for collusion. There was no conspiracy or collusion with the Russians. You know, Congressman, you have seen every document uh, that any member of Congress was able to see throughout this whole period. You've been my, one of my regular guests on Sunday here for the last two years. Because of your intelligence on the subject, because of you seeing every document, you have been one of the reasons that I, too, have been uh, pretty adamant about the no collusion uh, uh, situation in the last two years. Our viewers are smarter as a result of it because of what you've shared and some of your other colleagues. Devin Nunes has done a great job on this as well. What are you expecting? Give us your sense. You're going to get that. You're going to get that summary. And what do you think? Next couple of hours? I think in the next few hours. Okay. So, what are you expecting that is going to be most important for you to look at within this report and this summary? Well, well, again, what the what a senior Department of Justice official has already confirmed is that that Bob Mueller is going to issue no further indictments. Um, what that means is no indictments for collusion or conspiracy. And what the American people need to remember was the primary mandate of Bob Mueller, the reason we had Bob Mueller, were Americans conspiring with Russians to undermine uh, the 2016 election? And the answer to that is no. Uh, Bob Mueller, who was not limited by time or expense or by resources, apparently is concluding there was no collusion, there was no conspiracy, there were no crimes by Donald Trump or those associated with him as it related uh, to Russia and Vladimir Putin. And if that is true, Maria, the most important takeaway, I think, and the ironic takeaway for the American people would be that the very people who for two years have been accusing Donald Trump of treason, who have accused him of working with Vladimir Putin, would themselves be the ones responsible for giving Vladimir Putin his greatest victory over American democracy. Think about that. Uh, a dossier funded by the Democrats peddled through the Obama intelligence community, falsely verified by the Obama Justice Department, then sold to the American people by those very same elected Democrats uh, and willing folks in the media. Um, all of that taking place uh, really is extraordinary. Uh, Vladimir Putin, in his wildest dreams, could not have devised a more destructive scheme uh, to the fabric of American society, and yet it has consumed the public discourse for the last two years. Right. And that's what I want to ask you. We're going to take a short break. I want to ask you about the accountability here. Uh, John Brennan, James Clapper, Jim Comey, Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, Jim Baker, the lawyer. And then Jim Comey has the nerve to write an op-ed about this in this past week. 